Cavalier King Charles Spaniel 101. The Cavalier King Charles Spaniel, like their forefathers, is one of the most athletic dogs you'll ever see. They can be taught to compete in obedience and agility. Some even educate them how to herd and hunt, making them excellent field companions. Despite their demand for exercise, these dogs can also be kept indoors. The Cavalier King Charles Spaniel is a must-have if you're seeking a sleeping beauty or a cuddling companion, but you must first learn how to care for these canines. Hi everybody, welcome to Paw Venue. Today's video is about one of the most obedient and loving dogs, Cavalier King Charles Spaniel. So let's have a look at one of the best companion dogs ever created. But before we get started, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit that bell icon to get updated about the upcoming videos. With all that being said, let's dig into it. History. As for their history, many people believe the Cavalier King Charles Spaniel is a new breed. They have no idea that these dogs have existed since the 16th century. There was no standard for breeding these dogs at the time, so they were mixed with many other breeds to provide features that breeders desired. It wasn't until the 1920s that an American called Roswell Eldridge decided to restore the species shown in historical paintings. He asked for the best dogs from King Charles II's era, which resembled those in the historical paintings. Mr. Eldridge worked tirelessly to create the Cavalier King Charles Spaniel breed for many years. Physical Appearance as far as their physical appearance is concerned, the Cavalier King Charles Spaniel is a little lap dog that grows to be around the same size as adolescents of other larger Spaniel breeds when fully grown. Cavalier breed standards specify that this dog's height should be between 12 and 13 inches with 13 to 18 pounds. The Cavalier's tail usually is not docked, and the coat should be silky and moderately long. Furthermore, rules stipulate that it should be free of curl, however, a minor wave is permitted. Adults can develop feathering on their ears, feet, legs, and tail. The feathering on the feet, a particularly essential characteristic of the breed's attributes, must be kept long according to the standards. The English Toy Spaniel and the Cavalier King Charles Spaniel are frequently confused. The English Toy Spaniel is known as King Charles Spaniel in the United Kingdom, while one of the hues of the Toy Spaniel is known as King Charles in the United States. The two breeds have a shared history and only separated over 100 years ago. There are some significant distinctions between the two breeds, the most notable of which is their size. The Cavalier weighs between 13 and 18 pounds on average, while the King Charles averages 9 to 15 pounds. Furthermore, their facial characteristics differ slightly. The Cavalier's ears are positioned higher and its skull is flat, whereas the King Charles skull is domed. Finally, the Cavalier's muzzle is typically longer than the King Charles's. Personality if we talk about their personalities, these dogs are friendly creatures. Unlike other dogs, their main aim is to serve and make their owners pleased. The Cavalier King Charles Spaniel has a demanding demeanor, therefore, don't leave them by themselves much if you keep one. They require someone to be with them on their trips. The kind and inquiring personality of the Cavalier King Charles Spaniel is well known. They like exploring and learning from their surroundings. If you're thinking about adopting one, make it a habit to take them on walks and adventures regularly. This aids in the improvement of their mental and physical wellness. It also aids in promoting satisfaction, allowing them to be joyful and healthy dogs. Compatibility with other pets. This dog breed gets along with all kinds of dogs, whether big or tiny. Cavaliers aren't afraid to mingle with much larger dogs. The Cavalier King Charles Spaniel can readily adapt and get along with other dogs, which is why new owners are not concerned about keeping them with other pups. They have a calm demeanor and are friendly. Your dogs will adore each other like family in no time. However, they may not get along well with other small animals like cats, hamsters, rabbits, and others because they have a haunting past. Even so, with training, they can overcome their drive to chase other animals and coexist peacefully with them. Temperament. Now, let's discuss their temperaments. The breed is friendly, active, patient, and warm-hearted. As a result, the breed's dogs get along well with both children and other dogs. They can quickly adapt to practically any environment, family, or place, and they can live in both the city and the country. Cavaliers are ranked 44th among the most intelligent dogs with average performing or training intelligence. Cavaliers are generally curious and energetic, but they also like just cuddling up on a couch or lap, making them ideal companions or poodles for patients and older people. In addition, Cavaliers are athletic and active. Cavaliers excel in confirmation shows, agility and training, and their lovely, sensitive natures make them excellent therapy dogs. 
The breed is versatile, content to nap on the couch or go on long walks in terms of activity. The species is well known for its gentle nature. They also have an instinct to chase everything that moves, even cars on busy roads. This breed does not make ideal security dogs because they treat all outsiders as friends. Spaniels have a powerful hunting drive, which puts birds and small animals at risk. Thanks to their training, owners have reported that their cavaliers get along well with a range of small creatures, including hamsters and gerbils. Compatibility with children. If you have children, you can never go wrong with choosing a Cavalier King Charles Spaniel. These dogs are loving and friendly. They can readily adjust to noisy behavior. Nevertheless, before leaving the dog alone with your children, teach them how to deal with the dog. Any dog does not appreciate ear tugging and hair pulling. Although the Cavalier King Charles Spaniel is calm, it may become aggressive toward other people if it is injured. There are a few things to keep in mind when caring for a Cavalier King Charles Spaniel. It's not simply a privilege to have a dog, it's also a responsibility. They rely on us for food and shelter at the very least, and they are entitled to so much more. When you bring a dog into your life, you must be aware of the dedication to dog ownership. So let's have a look at a few factors that count while keeping a Cavalier King Charles Spaniel. Health. Firstly, we discuss their health. Cavaliers are susceptible to a variety of health problems. Certain eye disorders, patella luxation, hip dysplasia, middle ear infections, mitral valve heart disorders, and syringomyelia are examples of these. Cavaliers can be checked for all of these issues and the majority of them live to be quite old. Furthermore, owners should speak with their dog's breeder about potential health issues. The National Breed Club suggests the following health tests. Patella evaluation, hip evaluation, cardiac examination, ophthalmologist evaluation. Grooming. Secondly, we'll look into their grooming. Regular brushing and an occasional wash are all that is required to preserve the Cavalier's shiny, silky coat in good shape. Brushing the dog's coat not only keeps it lustrous and tangle-free, but also gives him a full body massage. Grooming sessions strengthen the link between dog and owner and allow you to check the dog's entire body for any new or strange bumps or other problems. Ears should be checked frequently for symptoms of infection and nails should be cut once a month at the very least since long nails can cause irritation and structural issues. Exercise. Next, we have the amount of activity or exercise they need. Despite being developed as a lap dog, the Cavalier is descended from sporting dogs and enjoys daily routine and outside activities. He enjoys going on walks with his owner and excels in various doggy sports, but he'd just as soon lounge on the couch all day. Cavaliers should never be let off the leash because they have scent and hunting inclinations and they may not respond when called if they've discovered a fun path to follow or prey to chase. It's best to have a big yard with a fence. Nutrition. Lastly, let's discuss what should be given to them as a source of healthy nutrition. The Cavalier should be given high quality dog food that is age appropriate. Some Cavaliers are vulnerable to becoming overweight, so keep an eye on your dog's calorie intake and weight. Give your dog treats in moderation if you wish to do so. Treats can be a helpful training aid, but feeding too much might lead to obesity. If possible, give table scraps sparingly, avoiding cooked bones and high fat items. Moreover, know which human foods are suitable for dogs and not. If you have any doubts about your dog's health, see your veterinarian. So guys, this is all about it. I hope you like this video and let me know if you have any queries in the comment section. Also, do let us know if you're now interested in keeping a Cavalier King Charles Spaniel. Don't forget to give a thumbs up to the video and share it with your friends. Check out this playlist of latest uploads and I'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care.